all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and today is the very first Monday of the month, meaning Mary's Merry Monday. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, we've had a very busy month <laughs> and we've also had a very happy month. And you know, we've had lots of things happen. I've bought lots of yarn, I bought lots of things that I like, which you're going to hear about in a moment. I'm not going to advertise too much about the yarn. By the way, if you are joining us new, firstly, welcome. And you probably don't know this, but the first Monday of every month, yours truly does a merry Monday, which means a very happy Monday. You know, Monday can be kind of mundane and boring and blah, and we're all off to work and the rest of it. So I thought I would pop one Monday of the month and make it happy. <laughs> so guys, it's been a very busy month. Um... Oh, and lots of things I want to talk about today, but I'm going to try and ram it all in and make it short. <laughs> and I'm going to hold two items off for next month's Merry Monday because that's won't be happening for another month, so I'm going to wait for those. But for this month, I am going to talk about lots of fun things that has happened. Um, what has happened? What have I bought? What am I going to do in the future? with our crochet here at the channel um there's a lot of things happening and um they're all good for a change <laughs> usually there's lots of things that go wrong anyway forget that because this is mary's merry monday i want to talk to you about happy stuff and let's get started okay you guys would already know that yours truly bought um some landscape yarn not long ago now the reason i'm talking about this first is because i know one of my um favorite people let's call her aish will love hearing this she once said to me oh can you make one of those like granny square shrug thingies and I'm thinking I don't know what you mean but then I worked out what she meant it's, it's like a granny square full granny square and it kind of stitches up at the sides you put your arms through it and it sort of sits right I don't know if I can get up there really high Whee! <laughs> right down at the back I'll show you when I'm ready to make but I've decided I'm hoping I've got enough yarn here <laughs> I thought I only bought six skeins, but actually I bought seven, so it's a bit of a bonus. It's the Landscapes Lion Brand Landscapes yarn, okay? And I'm going to do it in this, and Aish, you're going to love it. It's coming, it's coming next month, so yours truly is having a bit of practice at the stitch now, having a bit of practice at um, the actual size that we want. <laughs> um, and we're going to do this, we're going to do we you me you us all of us the whole entire world <laughs> is going to do the shrug yay <laughs> but it's kind of like a jumper shrug thingy it's not really just a small shrug it's a full-on let's put it over and wear it in winter maybe autumn maybe even the um fall as some countries say maybe even the cooler days of spring oh <laughs> now 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 that is one item we're going to make. Now I've decided there's this item right here as well, the Sheepies yarn, which I advertised last week as well. How gorgeous is this yarn? I know, right? Gorgeous. Um, we're going to be doing a project with that in the near future. I'm not going to talk about it now. I just wanted to show you the yarn. <laughs> um, and I'll talk about that in a couple of weeks' time. But these are the two yarns that have made me happy over the past month. Oh, very very happy I know <sighs> anyway let's get on with it guys there, there, there are other things that have made me happy um, lots and lots of projects that we are doing here at well crochet that you guys are doing along with me and you know last month I did a lot of unusual things on our, our channel here as well I did some little funny things and I hope um, it was well received <laughs> if not sorry <laughs> <laughs> but it's all crochet related so enjoy them guys watch those videos till the end because some of those items at the end every now and then I'll pop in a little you know a little bit not all of them not all of my videos but some of them might have a little bit of a, a funny thing at the end but the other thing guys is a bloopers video is coming I don't have enough to put up I only have about four minutes worth at the moment it's not really enough bloopers to put up I had more but I kind of deleted them off the computer and emptied the bin. So I really can't get them back. <laughs> then I checked the phone. I deleted them off the phone and emptied that rubbish bin too. <laughs> Do you 
geez, I'm really clever, aren't I? So um, I'll just get more because believe it or not, in every video I make, there's always a blooper, a blunder. I trip, I drop, the mouth comes out all upside down, the words are inside out and you know the rest of it. So there's always something. <laughs> so more bloopers will come, guys. And more funny skits will come. Something really unusual is coming up as well. But it's always, always crochet related. Now, let's get back on to Mary's Merry Monday. I went shopping again on, do, 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 what day was it? Saturday just passed. Yes, I did. I did actually go shopping during the week um, last week and bought buttons from Spotlight. Oh, I'm not with them now. Let's not worry about them. But I went to Lincraft here in um, Maribyrnong. Maribyrnong was called High Point City. And um, they had buttons on special. They had 40% off their buttons. So, well, hello, button lady. I had to buy them. I had to. I didn't have to. No idea. I had to. <laughs> so, guys, I, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, a lot of the buttons that I did buy will end up in giveaways anyway. So you guys are pretty much scoring when I do the giveaways. But um, there you go. These particular buttons are right here. I'm gonna hope that you can see them. Nice, yes, very nice. Very nice, yes. Um, they're gorgeous, I love them. And if you put them in front, you get like a line coming down through your buttons. How cool is that? And I couldn't help myself. I bought one, two, three, four, five. Five packs of the same buttons. And you know why? Because I'll have five pink buttons, five red buttons, five orange buttons, and so on and so on and so on. Clever. And you know, they're enough for a top. You know, little vest and that I wear a lot of. <laughs> and, and yeah, so I bought five of them. And I bought um, one of those. And one, two, three, four. Of these now these are for these will pop be popped in our giveaway anyway in the future uh, speaking of which I did a spot giveaway the other day and that went to um, Liz Angelicus for her constant reminder that she's always there <laughs> she pops in on Facebook she pops in on YouTube she pops in on Instagram she's all over the place I have a constant reminder that she is around and that is why I gave her a spot giveaway now the spot giveaways happen at every 500 mark and I do give that away to the person I know has popped in quite a lot during the month, uh, well not during the month, during the time of zero and 500 subscribers. <laughs> then I do a real big subscriber giveaway at the thousand mark as well. But Liz won that and it's made me very happy. Every time I do a giveaway I get really happy. Actually, we had our 4,000 subscriber giveaway within a month as well. The other things I saw at Lincraft, actually I bought one from Spotlight and the other three from Lincraft, because we are going to be doing these in the future. Get excited, guys, because someone once asked me, can you do one? And I thought, well, I probably could. It might be a little difficult, but I can do a nice easy one for YouTube for some of our newbies. And an, an easy one with just a, maybe the one odd trick in cricket. Hello. Can't get the words out. Intricate stitch. Now, can you hear the jingling and jangling? <laughs> All right, they are called, get it? Dream catcher rings. Yeah, we are going to be making dream catchers one, dream catchers two, dream catchers three, dream catchers four. We may not be making all those dream catchers because I bought two for um, the ones that I wanted to sell online um, and as you all know I do sell online I do sell on etsyandmadeit.com.au at the moment once I have my website up and running I may reconsider those those stores we'll see but I'll be selling two on my stores and two I'll be making here with Wow Crochet on YouTube yay <laughs> it the, the two that I make here will be extremely basic guys we need to keep them as basic as we can so that everybody all over the world can have a play the other two um, they will be paid patterns if you would like to purchase them I will let you know once they are complete where you can purchase them from so that is the these are the things that are making me very happy this month I really really like dream catches I've never ever and this is I've made a dream catcher without the frame. 
right? It's called Dreamcatcher. It's a little circle kind of thing. It's all over the web. And I made one of those as a freebie for someone and they were going to attach it to the frame. And that was all I've ever done. But I really want to make a Dreamcatcher with the frame. Now, if you don't know what a Dreamcatcher is, it is a crocheted related item that goes right around, 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 around until it gets to here and then it crochets around your frame and then you decorate it as well. You can have little strings and things happening and, you know, you can do little feathers and all sorts of things happening everywhere. They come up gorgeous. We are going to be making two, not this month, but the month of April. So, but they are coming up, guys. Don't um, think I won't bring them up. They will be coming up. We will be doing them because they make me happy and dream catchers are very lovely things to give away to your family and friends. The other thing I wanted to talk about was I mentioned that we had, uh, that I like to shop for buttons because I love buttons. And where's that big button container? Wait right there. <laughs> okay. I showed everybody not long ago. <laughs> This massive button container. Now, I only wanted to show you because, you know, our um, the cow scarf, mini scarf thing that we're making? All of these buttons and all of the new buttons that I bought last week and this week and two weeks ago, not one of them matched the cow. <laughs> Don't you just love it? So I popped on some wooden ones that I had. I don't know whether they match the um, cowl, but I popped them on anyway because I thought I'm not going out shopping again for buttons. This all happened this morning when I was recording the last bit of, of the cowl. And I said, I'm not going shopping for buttons. I refuse to go shopping for buttons. This is Merry Monday and I wanted to be happy. So I just recorded it and popped on these gorgeous wooden buttons. And then I thought, well, the wooden buttons are appropriate because the color matches with some of the brown and gray specks anyway so there you go but i kind of wanted nice big pink ones and i had pink buttons but they're either too bright or whatever so i just wanted to advertise that your um no no the cow is not coming up tomorrow i'm sorry the cow's coming up wednesday what's coming up tomorrow is is are you ready for it are you ready are you ready the second part to the isa bag and i know that because i'm editing it as we speak, well not as we speak because I'm talking to you right now, but um, <laughs> I'll be editing it straight after this video. I'll be editing that one. First I'll edit this video. Then I'll edit this. <laughs> Come on, get it right, Mary. Then I'll edit the Easter bag video. I mean, look at how gorgeous it is. And I saw the little lolly that I kept taking out the other day because it was annoying me, but it's back in there now. I know. And none of it has been eaten yet. I wonder how long it will survive in here before Easter. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's that these are the things that are making me very happy and i know that one lovely lady aish will be very happy about the granny square shrug yay <laughs> so guys that is the main things that make me happy then there is happy mail now yours truly on saturday's live i advertised happy mail and this happy mail that I advertised was from the lovely Angela. Okay. And Angela has sent me a lovely tea towel. And the reason I'm advertising it again is because it has made me so happy this month to see um, some lovely item that comes from Coventry. Now, Angela lives in Coventry and she has sent me this gorgeous tea towel. I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Very nice. And usually, even if, you know, she didn't send me this, I still would have been happy with, and get this, this really does make me happy, the card, and I won't show you completely, but let's just show you a little bit, handwritten. None of this computer techie stuff. Plain old, good old-fashioned, handwritten card. Now, that is one of the main things that has made me happy this month. The handwritten card. Anything handwritten. I it just takes me way back to when I used to write at school. <laughs> do they still do they still write? I don't know. 
Um, I know they use computers a lot, iPads and laptops and all sorts of things. But do they still write? I don't know. By hand. Do people still write letters? Do they? I don't know. But I, I love to receive the handwritten stuff personally instead of computer typed. I do, I do. It's one of my greatest loves when it comes to being merry and happy. <laughs> I wanted to talk about two other things. Now, I should have bought this up on um, Thrifty Thursday, but I forgot. So I thought I'd pop it in now because I'll forget for next Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> but I just wanted to share this because it was very funny and it made me laugh and it's still making me happy today. I wanted to do a video on going through um, your old clothes and taking off buttons that are in relatively fancy fancy buttons but are in relatively good condition now these two buttons came off uh, a jacket a red jacket that i used to wear now the red jacket got a little bit old and it was kind of you know oh really old and i wore it for like 100 years um well maybe five same thing um exaggerating by 95 of course and well, i can count how about that all right let's get back, get back to it mary and a couple of years ago i wanted these buttons for another outfit i wanted one of the buttons and i thought oh let's just cut them all off pop them in my little button tin and um you know leave them there until i need them so i used the one button and that was on a nice little you know like this kind of like a vest like this it had a big button in the middle and uh that was the end of that so on Thrifty Thursday, when I went into that <laughs> wardrobe to get the buttons off the jacket, I remembered once I saw the jacket, mind you, the jacket was still there. I don't know why. <laughs> There's no buttons on it. <laughs> and I'm videoing this jacket with no buttons, thinking I must have already raided them. <laughs> and I did. And then I came back to the button container and I found two of the buttons, because I knew there was three, Two of the buttons, and once I saw the two buttons and thought, my mind sort of went straight back. I can't believe how long it was since I've done this. It went right back to when I remembered cutting the buttons off and using one of them for a vest. And, I'll, you know, a lot of my vests I use them, and when they, um, they wear out a little bit, I cut off the buttons again. <laughs> but the best part is, and the worst part is, and the best part is, I lost the top. <laughs> so I've lost one of the buttons, but I still have... <laughs> Two buttons left from a jacket that's still sitting in my closet from five years ago. So that made me happy on Thursday. That made me very happy thinking, oh gosh, what was I thinking of? I still kept that jacket. <laughs> I do a lot of funny things. I'm a very strange person. Guys, if you wanted to see some comedy um, with the crochet, check out the Russian, get it right, Russian Join Challenge. I'll pop the link to the challenge. The very first link you see in the description box down below will be the Russian Join Challenge. Now, there's about 20-something minutes worth of making the project and then the last 12 to 13 minutes worth of a little bit of funny challenge to make sure that the uh, join stayed in place. And it was quite a challenge. It was a lot of fun. I, you know, it was a bit silly. But I had a lot of fun with it and it did make me happy. It's one of the things that made me happy this month. So that's made me happy this month. Buttons have made me happy this month. Getting this yarn so that I can create a shrug has made me happy this month. And getting this yarn here has made me happy this month so that I can make something gorgeous. And making the Easter bag has made me very happy because oh, I love Easter. I know, little things make me happy. Big things make me happy too. Okay, guys, so if you wanted to see the Russian Join Challenge, the very first link you'll see in the description box down below will be that challenge. Check it out. It's funny as, I mean, I enjoyed making it, <laughs> even though I was a bit silly. And in the second link down below, you will see part one of the cowl. As you can see, I still haven't finished it. So part two is coming in a couple of days' time, probably Thursday. And I'm sorry, make that Wednesday. And don't forget, the third um, link you'll see in the description box down below will be part one of the Easter bag, because guess what, guys? Part two of this Easter bag is coming tomorrow. Ah! I'll be putting it up 
on YouTube tomorrow for you to finish. Part two, by the way, is actually the final part of the bag as well. So oh, there you go. So you would have had your Easter bag finished by tomorrow night. Um, if you decide to do the rest of it tomorrow, you can. <laughs> and um, then on Wednesday, we'll pop up the, uh, um, the cow. Now, with the cow, I've left a little bit of a, a message right in the middle of the video. Um, I think when I made the black one, I think I used a four and a half hook. So it's a little bit longer than this one. Oops. So what I did was I left a little you know, kind of little note right in the middle of the video saying keep doing another do another four more rows or something else. I don't know it was four or five I can't even remember but I asked you to do four more rows before you come back to complete the next whatever rows it took to finish the um, scarf. Part two by the way is also the final part of the scarf as well. So by the end of this week we're going to be finished with the Easter bag, finished with the scarf um, oh, and I don't know whether I'll have the uh, St. Patrick's Day items ready by then. We'll see. We'll see. But we do have History Friday this week. I didn't do it last month. Remember, I missed it because I was very naughty and lost some stuff. I still can't find them. <laughs> if I can't find them, I'm going to pop pictures up this time because it's getting a bit long in the tooth, as they say. It's taking me so long to find them. So I'm going to either pop pictures up or find them before Friday. Before Friday, we hope. But today is Merry Monday. Tuesday you'll have Easter bag. Wednesday you'll have the rest of the cow. Thursday you may have some Patrick's Day items. I'm not sure. And Friday you will have History Friday. You guys are going to love History Friday. It's a very interesting. Um, hmm, it's a very interesting 20 minutes to half an hour. I think you you guys are going to love it. Probably should have combined it with um, Merry Monday because it makes me happy seeing my history and thinking, wow, do I go way back to then? Have I done this many years of crochet? So yeah, oh, I'm not going to say anymore. You have to join me on Friday for History Friday. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Don't forget you've got the Easter bag and the, and the cow coming this week. And I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except my name is Mary. You've been watching Wow Crochet. Don't forget to join me on Saturdays live at 10 o'clock in the morning. And guess what, guys? Ciao for now.